You know what? A lot of people are always asking me about OTF Nunu, too. I'm not going to lie. From the people I didn't talk to and interviewed, I actually had a chance to interview his close cousin. That's actually on the YouTube channel. You get a chance, scroll down and go check it out. Um, I think Nunu had the chance to be a star like Lil Durk, too, in my opinion, because when the culture first popped off and Durk kind of got hot, his name was synonymous with Lil Durk. Uh, and plus, he was his cousin. I think he was a dope artist. The only thing about Nooski that kind of threw me off was when Lil Durk first popped off, he kind of got a little famous, kind of got some money. He was able to move his family out the hood. Nooski was still out there in those neighborhoods, and I think that shit made him very dangerous. He was on fire. All the ops was looking at him because of Dirk. You got to remember, Dirk was involved in street shit before he became famous. Once he became famous, it, it amplified the drama shit up there to the point where it was crazy. Dirk was doing diss songs, dissing the ops. People were coming up missing, dead, all kind of things, and it was hard to reach Dirk because he was so far gone. The ops took out the brunt, they took out their beef, they took out their anger on Dirk's friends and their families. So the thing with Nunu that kind of threw me off is I thought he knew that. He knew about the beef that Dirk had. Then he did a lot of interviews. He did interviews with Zach TV, interviews with other channels that gave out his location. He was screaming out blocks. We seen them over there on 72nd and Green with Dog Pound, with Mr. GDK. We seen them walking around with face mob and all kind of shit like that. So we knew that he was in those neighborhoods. He also had a big, big war with 051 Young Money. They really had a hatred for Lil Durk and OTF. That shit stemmed from before the music business. A lot of people credit 051 with being the BDK creators, even though JoJo dropped that song. Uh, it's rumors on the street that Nunu was stalked and targeted from guys from like 051 Young Money. That's all on the internet. That shit been documented on the internet. I can't verify that, because you got to remember that the internet play a lot of forensic police. I try not to jump in that lane. I just give you the news that's already planted. A lot of shit be covered up. It be my job to expose it. But uh, when it come to OTF Nunu, I think he had the same kind of vibe as like a King Von. He didn't have that much personality, but he did have lyrics and he was keen to the hottest rapper coming out of Chicago. Uh, unfortunately, he lost his life due to gun violence like the rest of these guys. His killer was never caught. He was always mocked in songs for some strange reason. Mubu Crump loved dissing him in songs. A lot of people believe Crump lost his life over dissing Nunu in them songs. If you listen to Pooh Shiesty's song and Lil Durk's song, they got a song, Back in Blood. Dirk actually mentioned a bar where he said, you was dissing on my cousin, now your ass all in that wood, huh? A lot of people equate that as he was talking to Crump. A lot of people actually say that he had beef with Melly too because of rumors of Chino, L.A. Capone, all kind of shit. I ain't going to get into that because, like I said, the internet play a lot of forensic police. But um, OTF Nunu, I think he was a dope artist. The only thing that kind of confused me with him was he was still in the hood. And I think if you still in the hood and you got that fame and your family member pop off and get that fame, that's the end of doing the interviews on the block you live on. That's the end of doing interviews showing your block sign on the street because you let all the Chicago know where you lived at. If I knew where you was at, then I know the ops knew where you was at. That's my opinion. But um, like I said, I want y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't need no donations. Keep your donations. It's cold outside. You might have got to go to get the hot chocolates. You might got to go get the marshmallows and shit. You know, it's hot. It's cold out here. All I'm asking you to do is give me a like. When you hit the like button, it make my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see them. You remember the last video I asked you, let's break a record, see if we can get a thousand likes on the video. We passed that. So I want to see if we can do something different today. Um, we had like 9,000 subscribers. By the end of tonight, I want to be at 10,000. I think that's a credible goal that we can reach. So for everybody who watching this video today, if you rock with it, you fuck with anything that I said in the video, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that. And uh, once we get to 10,000 subscribers, remember I said, I'm going to pick somebody out the comment section. I'm going to buy your lunch. We're going to go on live, chop it up. You got some music, send it to me. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel. You don't got to send me nothing. If you support me, I support you. It's the homie truth. Bleh!